Sometimes we just gotta let it out. That's it. Right. Can't keep it shut up for long. Robert Jeremiah said, I, I tried to stop. I tried to. He said, but I couldn't. It was like fire shut up in my bones. Turn to your seats if you'd like. If you want to stand up and back me up from around here, go ahead. It's great to be in the house of God tonight. Feel His presence and His power. Praise God. Praise God. I told Brother Ben, he... Uh, should have made it so hard on me this morning, <laughs> having to follow that message uh, this morning, the Word of God this morning. Can I tell you, if you'll be obedient to it, the Lord will bless you. Amen. Right? Praise God. Can I tell you, the more of the Holy Ghost you get in your life, the less rebellion. No way. Come on. Lord. Come on. Preach that. Uh, hallelujah. The more Holy Ghost you get in your life, the less rebellion against the Word of God. Praise God. Praise God. But Ben texted me last night and said, uh, how about doing a tag team? And, uh, he said, I'll preach Sunday morning, you preach Sunday night, and we're going to preach on the Holy Ghost. I said, I will. I said, well, you know I love you. Praise God. Praise God. I, I uh, let, let me... Read that the first two <laughs> verses of uh, Third John, uh, John chapter three, <coughs> verses one and two. I'm gonna read more, but I'll let y'all be seated after that. It said there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, the ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Praise God. <coughs> Hallelujah. Brother, Brother Bean, would you pray? Uh, righteous and living God, I thank you for your spirit that has come Lord, and dwelt with us this night, Father God. Lord, glory from this God. moment on, I desire that you bless our bishop <coughs> and his voice like never before to be used for your glory yes. and your honor and the advancement Jesus of your kingdom. Name. Let the words fall on the ears that are ready to hear. Praise Father God, God, like never God. before, Praise in the name God. of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thou son of David. Praise Thank God. You. you may be seated. <coughs> well, being may I mention this morning, the conversation that we had yesterday uh, about the Holy Ghost and the... the, the, the uh, I began to think back and Go back in my mind a few few years and begin to think of how as as which I grew up in this as, as a child and then a young man and a teenager how uh, how the word of God was so profound to us and, and how the conviction of God would would move through our midst and it would it, it, the spirit of God would yes. draw us to to an altar. And it did because it became apparent and it became clear to us that the most important part of our salvation was the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hmm? It, it led us, as Brother, Brother Ben talked about this morning, it, it led us to that Damascus yes. uh, wheel, that, the complete turnaround. Yes. Uh, and, 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 and we would seek after the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost would fall. And, and move in such a special way as, as it is doing in our services now. Yes. And, 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 and so thankful for the way that God is moving. But, but when we can begin to realize that that uh, we need this. Need right? it. We need this. Need uh, uh, could it. I, could I tell you this morning or this afternoon and make this statement that... Uh, <coughs> As you begin to realize, as you begin to study the Word of God, and I admonish you, follow me in the Scriptures. Yes. I admonish you to study the Word of God. Uh, I mean, know that 
God didn't send the Holy Ghost as an option. No way. Right. Hmm? No way. Right. Hmm? See, too many people wants to wants to classify it as as, as an option or something <laughs> that just happened back then or something that just happened uh, to the upper uh, the 120 in the upper room, but that's not so. It's not so. It's still for us today. Yes, it is. It's still for us today. I yes, it look. is. As Nicodemus came to, he was a ruler of the Jews, a man of the Pharisees. He came to Jesus by night <coughs> and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that our teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. How many right. want to see the kingdom of God? Yes! Yes! yes. Uh, not, not only are we looking for a kingdom that we're born into, but the Bible says that the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but right. it's righteousness and right. peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Uh, Amen. Our spiritual kingdom is the Holy Ghost, is the yes. church. Uh, see, it, it, he was... Jesus was the Father in creation, the Son in redemption, and the Holy Ghost in the church. Right. And we began to we began to look into the Word of God, and, and as as Nicodemus came to him, the first thing Jesus told him, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Mighty God. And Nicodemus didn't understand. He said that Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus said to very, very, I said to thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, uh -oh. he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That's the word. Uh, the Spirit, yeah. The Spirit. Born of the Spirit. Water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, that which is born of spirit is spirit. Mark yes. not that I said unto thee, ye must be born must again. Be. Amen. Why? Because that nature of man, that nature of sinful man. Right. Huh? We were born, we were born into sin. We were born with that sin nature. So Amen. because of that sin nature in the carnal man, he Come had on. to be born again of the Spirit of yes. God so he could take on the new nature. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bless new the man. Lord. Oh, not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. And then he began to say, the wind bloweth where it is, and thou hearest the sound thereof. I cannot tell whence it cometh and whether it goeth. So is everyone that's born of the Spirit. <laughs> Praise God. Nicodemus after him said, how can these things be? How can these things be? How Jesus, can it be? Jesus answered and said unto him, art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that which we do know and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. He said, if I told you earthly things, Bless and you believe Jesus. not, how shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? All right. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And Moses lifted up a serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, All right. but have eternal life. Thank Amen. you, Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, hmm? Amen. but have everlasting Amen. life. For just a little while tonight, I want to preach to you this thought, the gift of everlasting life. Thank yes, Lord. The gift of everlasting Good. life. Good. And I'm going to tell you, and I'm just going to uh, tell you like God gave it to me. All right. Huh? Bless him. Hey, I sat there right after Brother Ben texted me, and I text back, I will. <laughs> then I text him again, I think, something about, uh, you, know, you know, hey, brother, you know how I love preaching about the Holy Ghost? At that time, I didn't have a, I didn't have a, 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 a these preachers know what I'm talking about. I didn't have a thought. I just knew somewhere that I, I knew, I knew the Bible on the Holy Ghost. Bless him, Jesus. But I didn't have a thought. And I sent that last text to him, and all of a sudden, I, 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 I sat back in my chair, and I 
And I felt the Lord quicken my spirit. Yeah. Come on. Uh, mm. You know what he, Bless him, Jesus. I felt like he put in my spirit. It's simply this. The Holy Ghost is everlasting life. All right. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank the Holy Lord. Ghost is everlasting yes. life. Yes, it is. I'm going to show you in the yes, scriptures. Yes, it is. Come on. I'm going to show you in the scriptures. He said, he, he just got through telling Nicodemus, you must be born again of the water and of the Spirit. And then, then he said, for God so loved the world, and I'm glad he did, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you go from there into, into the fourth chapter, I'm going to start reading about verse 6 there. He said, Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being weary with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water, and Jesus saith unto her, Give me a drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. <laughs> then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, how is it that thou being a Jew as you speak of me, which I am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said, Unto her, if thou knewest the gift of God. Amen. If thou knewest the gift of God, God gave it. God gave it. If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that said to thee, Give me a drink, thou would have asked of him and he would have given thee living water. Yes, yes sir. And the woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From which then hast thou that living water? Are thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? And Jesus answered and said unto, him, to, to her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall out thirst again. Right, right. Come on. Huh? Amen. But look at this. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall yes. never thirst. Never. Why is that? Come on. Thank you, Listen, Jesus. If you look up the word everlasting and, and eternal, both of them are, are translated from the same Hebrew word and the same uh, Greek word. They mean the same thing. It, it, it's perpetual. It's ancient. It's always. It's eternity. It's eternal. You know, it don't stop. It don't stop. But look what he said. Look what he said. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him. Yes, in him. A well of living water springing yes. up into everlasting life. Yes. Know what he said? He said that, yes. water, that water springing up into everlasting life. It's the water that I'm going to give you. It's a gift from yes. me. Yes, it is. It's a gift from me. Yes. It's a well of living water springing up into everlasting life. Thank and you, then he clarifies it a little bit more in John the 7th chapter in verse 37. He said, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood. And cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the Scripture has said, mm -hmm. <laughs> out of his belly yes. shall flow rivers of living water. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said, Thank It you, shall Jesus. be in you, you a well of Thank living you. water springing yes. up into what? Everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, and then the, then the Bible says, by the way, Paul said, then the Bible said, <laughs> he, that, if he, he that believeth on me, as the Scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers yes. of living water. Thank you, but Jesus. this Thank you, spake Jesus. he of the Spirit. The Spirit. He that God. believeth on me, as the Scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. Praise God. But this spake he of the Spirit, 
Nicodemus, you must be born of That's the water true. and of the Spirit. Yes, yes, and this spake he Praise of the God. Holy Ghost, the Bible says. Right. Praise God. So if I put it all together, how many know you got to search the, the Word of God? How many know you got to put the Word of God together? How many know you got to work it out with fear and trembling? And trembling and rightly divide the Word of truth. I can't just take this scripture and that scripture and cast this one aside. But I've got to begin to put it all together. And he said, you must be born again. It's an experience. Because being born in the natural is an experience that no one won't ever forget that baby being born. That man won't forget his child being born. As the scripture has said, we won't forget that day. It's an experience. But the Bible said he this spake he of the Spirit. Jesus told the woman at the well, it shall be in you. In this gift. Right. If you knew the gift of God, it shall be in you. A well of living water springing up into what? Everlasting life. Huh? That whosoever believeth on him should have everlasting life. How do I get everlasting life? I follow the scripture. I follow the word of God. I obey the word of God. I believe it when he said I must be born again. I believe it when he said out of my bed shall flow rivers of living water. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody better shout because I'm about to. Go ahead. Go ahead. We will make it. Bless him, Jesus. So, so, God didn't send the Holy Ghost as an option. He paid too, he paid too big a price for it. Bless him, Lord. Uh, he shed his blood on Calvary. He died for it. In Jeremiah 2 and 13. Well, let me let me finish verse thirty nine. But I, I I got. But he this he spake of the spirit which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because it, Jesus was not yet glorified. But look, now Jeremiah two and thirteen. He said, "For my people have committed two evils; they forsaken me." He said, they've, they've forsaken me. The fountain of living water. Mighty God. Bless him, Jesus. And have hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns, won't hold water. Won't hold water. That can hold no water. Praise God. Thank you. Praise God. Won't work. Huh? It will not. Come on. Go ahead. Bless him, Jesus. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Come on! You know why? You know why some people have such a hard time having victory? They're trying to live out of a system. Come on! Oh. It's so. Oh. They're trying to live out of a system. It is so. Bless him, Jesus. Well, they ought to be living out of that well. The water springing up into everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. Thank God. Uh, Thank God. Living water, the definition. Yes, sir. It's a well of water or a spring of water or whatever you want to, either way, that's always running. Amen. Always. Always. Amen. Always running. Oh. Huh? Yes, sir. Continual movement. Yes. Continual movement. Huh? How many? How many of this? You, 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 you outdoorsmen, you, you guys have heard it and know it is true. 
One running water purifies it. So. Amen. Yes, right. sir. Hmm? But if it's a, if it's you know, a, a, a sister a lot of times was a, 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 a pit hole. It's, it's one of the definitions of it. And they would dig out these holes to catch rainwater. That a lot, a lot often times would come off the roof of the house that they lived in. Uh, and after a while, you know if that water's not running in the cistern, it's going to get stagnant. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. But some of the other definitions of cistern was a pit hole, a prison, or a dungeon. And then they said it was an artificial well. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, an artificial reservoir built of rock or brick to catch rainwater. Amen. I, I, I got to have it flowing. I got to have it moving. Right. Right. Every day. I, I, just, I, I, I just can't live off a few sprinkles every once in a while. Right. <laughs> trying to catch no water. way. Trying to catch water in a broken system. No way. Hmm. <laughs> Isaiah 28. Verses 11 and 12, he said, For with stammering lips and another tongue, will he speak to his people? Yes. If you look up the word stammering lips, it means to talk like a foreigner. Oh. Yeah. Now look it up. With stammering lips and another tongue, will he speak to this people, to whom he said, This is the rest wherewith you may cause the weary to rest. <laughs> and this is the refreshing. Bless him, Jesus. But then he said, they would not hear. Are you hearing tonight? Yes. Are you hearing tonight? Praise God. Praise God. And then, everybody quote along with me, because you probably can by now. Acts 2 and 1. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all of one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house wherein they were seated. There appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it set upon each of them. Yes. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began oh. to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Hmm? Yes. It had to be important. God wouldn't have sent them there and told That's them to right. pray till you be in view with power from on high. That power. Wait for the promise. Wait for the promise. Wait for the promise of the Father. Praise God. Praise God. How I many you know we've got to embrace truth? Yeah. Exactly. Bless him, Jesus. Got to. Bless him. <coughs> Sometimes, sometimes it's not pleasing to the flesh to embrace uh -huh. truth. Right. That's right. right. Huh? That's right. Sometimes it's not. It's not. But how many know when I embrace truth, I draw closer to God? That's right. Yeah. Mm. Bless him, Jesus. And then skip it over to verse 15. And Peter standing up, he said, For these are not drunken as you suppose, seeing it's but the third hour of the day. Right. Amen. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. This is that. This is that. Uh, this is what Amen. Joel was, Joel was this prophesying is about. Huh? What was he prophesying about? He was prophesying about the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Yes, he was. Uh -huh. Jeremiah was prophesying about the Holy Ghost and the speaking in tongues. Yes. Huh? Amen. Yes. Peter was standing up and he said, this is that. This is that. This is that. This is that. Amen. That was prophesied by the prophet Joel. 
saying, It shall come to pass in the last days, says God, I will pour out my spirit. Yes. Amen. Upon all flesh. Good again, Amen. Brother. This is what's happening now. This is that. This is what's happening in the last days. This is that. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. Come on. Amen. And all my servants and all my handmaidens, I'll pour out in those days of my spirit, they shall prophesy. Yes. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad that, that the Lord saw fit to give the vision for the church that He gave Brother Ben. Amen. Which, which is basically, He picked up my vision. He's running with That's it. Right. Amen. Amen. Jesus. That's He's it. running with it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad y'all hold on. You may not understand it all the time. Uh, you may not understand where it's going all the time. But you be obedient. Amen. You be under submission. Amen. Right? And God's going to bless. Right? Yes. I believe it. Huh? I believe it. Amen. Uh, see, because, because if you're not careful, you'll wind up in a rut. You'll wind up in a cistern where the stagnant water is. Right. Him, Jesus. If you don't move on, if you don't move forward, if you don't Amen. keep running. Yes. Hmm? Praise God. But look, this is that. God's pouring it out in the last day. Yes, he is. Uh, he meant for it to be important. He meant for men to preach about it. Amen. Yes, he did. Huh? Amen. Testify about it. Receive it. Receive it. Go with me if you would. Go <coughs> ahead. Go with me if you would to the book of Romans. The eighth chapter. Verse 6. It says, for to be carnally minded is death. <coughs> but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. All right. So I'm on the outside looking in, and I hope there's nobody on the inside that, 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 that is critical of the movement of the Spirit. <coughs> because it's moving. Yes, it is. Bless him, Jesus. Why do they have to be so spiritually minded? Well, the Bible says for to be carnally minded is death. Right. Yes, sir. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Amen. Because a carnal mind is empty against God, for it's not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So the, then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But you're not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. In you. He said, I won't send you another comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. He said, I'm not only going to... Jesus said, I, he said it this way. He put, he may let you know, Jesus and the Holy Ghost sing. Same. Same Jesus. Um, they work together. The same. One, one, one. These three are one. He said, I'm not only going to be with you, I'm going to be in you. Right? In you. Thank you, in you. Jesus. Thank in you, Jesus. He said, now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he's none of his. And if Christ be in you, the, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of, because of righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. But if the Spirit of Him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken, that word quicken means make alive, your mortal bodies by His Spirit that dwelleth in you. There's going to be a trumpet sound one day. There's going to be a connection made. That's right. Bless Him, Jesus. 
I said, there's going to be a trumpet sound one day and there's going to be a connection made. Amen. And if I don't have enough spirit in me for that connection to be uh -oh. made, I'll be left behind. Come on, help It'll us be Lord. like the five foolish virgins. For all will have run out in my vessel. My God, no time for that. Praise God. Bless Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Then he said in Galatians, the sixth chapter. Verse 7 and 8. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Right? right. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Amen. For he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit yes. shall of the Spirit reap Life God. everlasting. Thank God. Thank Praise God. God. Everlasting. Praise God. If I if I sow to the Spirit. If I sow to the Spirit. Yeah. If I sow to the Spirit. Yes. yes he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit yeah. reap life everlasting. Yes. How do I sow to the Spirit? <laughs> Come on. I got to praise and I yes. Yes. I got to praise and I got to pray. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I read his word. I pray. That's it. Come on. I worship. Yes. I praise him. Yes. God's not more. Yes, not. He's not more. And then in the book of Ephesians, the first chapter, in verse 13, in whom, all ye, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Right, yes it is. And whom also, after that you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit yes. of promise. Sealed with Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. That Holy Spirit of... Somebody tell me what the Holy Spirit of promise is. Holy God. Uh, Holy God. Come on. Don't tell you in Jerusalem. Wait for the promise Wait of the Lord. Lord. Yeah. That Holy Spirit of promise. He said after that you believe you were sealed. <laughs> Come on, listen, man. listen. Sealed. <coughs> to stamp with a signet or seal. But look at this. A private mark. Huh. For security. Security. Or preservation. Mighty God. <laughs> like no other. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. And then he said, it's the earnest of our inheritance until the day of redemption of the purchased possession until the praise of the Lord seal me. Yes. Seal me. Seal me. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. Why? Because <laughs> when that trumpet sounds. Come on. Amen. Uh, Come on. Uh, uh. When that trumpet sounds. <laughs> Can I just be blunt? Go ahead. When that trumpet sounds, only those that are sealed. Bless it, Jesus. That's it. Will rise out. It's the truth. Hmm? Why? Because he said, he said that Holy Spirit Thank of promise you, Jesus. is the earnest, earnest of your inheritance. <laughs> Most everybody knows what, what we, uh, a lot of times when you go to buy a house or purchase something, you put up earnest money. Amen. What does it mean when you put that earnest money up? Is I'm going to come back? That's it. Purchase the rest of it. I'm going to come back and pay you for the rest of it. Yes, uh, come back. So, so, you take this earnest money and you keep it until I come back. Mighty God. That's what Jesus said. He said, I'm giving you the Holy Spirit of promise. I'm giving you Jesus, the Holy Jesus. Ghost to seal you 
and keep you till I come back oh, and get you. Amen. 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 It's his promise to us. Amen. It's his promise to you and I. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That he's coming back after us. Thank you, Jesus, Jesus, God. Jesus. Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Praise Jesus. God. So make sure. Somebody said, Brother Mike, do we really need it? Yep. I'd rather have it not need it. <laughs> need it, not have it. Say on, say on. Mm -hmm. It is a truth. But you know, can, can I just go ahead and say it? Go ahead. Well, I, I, I understand everybody wasn't raised like I was. <laughs> Somebody said, Brother Mike, you're old. Yes, I am. <laughs> And a lot of times I can say what I want to and get away with it. <laughs> but I tell, you, I tell you why it was so important. Uh, when, I was, when I was a teenager, when I was young, it was so important. And I was so in awe when I'd see people filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. As they would come to the altar and they'd pour their heart. Yes. And they would cry before God and repent before God. And the saints would gather around and, and, God. and we called it praying and through to the Holy Ghost. Yes. Uh, come on. And one day, one day it happened in my life. Uh -oh. <laughs> I can remember them old saints gathering around. Yes. Me, and they weren't going to let me go. Uh -huh. <laughs> I prayed through. No way. Praise God. No way. Praise God. No way. Praise God. But what, 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 what drew me to the altar? Because I was convinced that it was necessary. Yes. Still today. Mm -hmm. Still. If you, don't, if you don't seek after it, if you don't try and seek with all your heart after it, it's because you're not convinced that it's necessary. You must be born must. Again, of the water and of the spirit. You know what? Look it up. You know what the word must means? Translated from the Greek, it means it is necessary. Ah. Amen. When Jesus said, Nicodemus, you must be born again of the water and the spirit, he was telling him, it is necessary. necessary. It is necessary. Yeah. Church, I'm God. telling you tonight, it is necessary. It is. Let's all stand. It is. Yes, yes it is. Let's begin to make our way back up front tonight. I admonish you just like Bishop would. If you have not yet received the gift of the Holy Ghost and fire, I admonish you to just lift your hands and begin to worship God like you never have before. I said it this morning and I'll say it again. I think we can all stand for a refreshing, yeah. for a reviving, for a renewance in the Holy Ghost and fire tonight. So why don't we all unify tonight and just begin to worship the King of Kings and Lord.